Hello booktube, not only is this my October book haul, it's also the book haul where I go over 700 books in my collection. I have eight books to show you, so let's get started. Um, the first two books I picked up from, or I ordered from, Book Depository. Um, first up is The Opium War by Julia Lovell. Um, a few months ago, I picked up um, Julia Lovell's book, um, Maoism of Global History, and I uh, saw that she has written a book on um, the Opium War, and I've been quite interested in picking up a book on the Opium War for some time, so I'm happy to have this in my collection and looking forward to re reading it. Next up, I have... Um, Inglorious Empire, What the British Did to India by Shashi Tharoor. Um, I've had this book in various wish lists for a while. Um, but after reading um, Insurgent Empire by Priyamfada Gopal, I felt a real sort of yearning to read uh, more anti-colonial history. And I'm quite excited to get around to this. Next up, I have um, two books I ordered from Alibris, um, Alibris itself. So Alibris is this used online used bookstore conglomerate. It basically has various sellers um, that you can order from, but Alibris itself um, sells books usually, um, well, they're classified as new. So I'm not entirely sure if like, they pick up or they buy remainders or returns or how exactly that works. Although they are significantly cheaper than um, the list price, particularly for history books, which is usually who I order from a Libra. So the first book I picked up is um, Fifth Son, A New History of the Essex by Camilla Townsend. Um, I've been circling uh, this book for several months now, and I finally decided to pick it up uh, this month, and I'm excited to get to it. And I also picked up um, King of the World, The Life of Louis XIV by Philip Mansell. Um, uh, this book's relatively new to me. I uh, It hasn't been all that long since I first learned about it. Um, but my desire to um, pick it up uh, came from reading uh, Steve Donahue's review in Open Letters Review, which I thought was a very strong review. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading uh, Life of Louis XIV. Next, I have a pre-order. Um, so I had uh, two books this month that I had on pre-order. Um, the first is Philip and Alexander, Kings and Conquerors by Adrian Goldsworthy. This is a um, joint biography of uh, Philip II of Macedon and his son Alexander the Great. Um, often Philip is uh, a footnote to his son's uh, career. But to be honest, Philip, without Philip, without Philip's reforms of uh, the Macedonian society, military, um, Alexander would never have had the storied career or infamous career that he had. Um, so, yeah, it was, when I saw this book, I was super excited to pick it up. And um, again, even though I had this pre-ordered for ages. Um, Steve Donahue also has a re review of um, this book up and it is quite good as well. I'm going to try to do a Steve pyramid. Uh, and try to hopefully I can get the um, thumbnail to catch it for a change. So um, before I get to the second um, uh, pre-order, which was the last book I got this month. Um, 
Powell's, the storied independent bookstore in Portland, had a 30% off sale on its website. And I jumped on it, even though I had absolutely no intention to order from Powell's this month. I just couldn't resist. So I picked up uh, two used history books. The first is um, Anne Applebaum's Iron Curtain, The Crushing of Eastern Europe, 1944 to 1956. Um, surprisingly, this is an ex-library an ex copy from Newport Beach Public Library, which is, oh, from California, cool. Which is interesting because when I uh, looked up um, so Powell's um, use book policy, I thought they mentioned that they didn't really accept ex-library copies, that if they got any in, they would pass them along to other um, sellers, like, uh, say, Better World Books or um, Discover Books, Hippo Books, Owl Books, one of those. But I guess either that was mistaken or, yeah, anyway, but I don't particularly care. Um, I mean, I have quite a few ex-library books in my collection, and I think it's kind of interesting finding out where they came from. And all that. So the second book I picked up from Powell's is Ecstatic Nation, Confidence, Crisis, and Compromise, 1840 to 1877 by Brenda Wineapple. Um, this is a history of the United States in the lead up and uh, aftermath of the Civil War. And finally, the second pre-order I picked up this month is uh, Dreams of El Dorado, A History of the American West by H.W. Brands, or H.W. Yeah, Brands. Um, this is a history of, obviously, the American West, um, and when I saw this uh, last year, I kind of wanted to pick it up, but I decided to wait for the um, paperback, and quite excited to get around to this, because I really... I'm not as in knowledgeable about the American West as I would like to be. So, yeah, I think I can do a Steve Pyramid. Um, so that's, so those are the books I picked up um, over the course of October. Um, next month, um, I have one already on its way. I was going to hoping it would come at the, this week, but, or next week, but I don't think it will. Um, it's another book depository book and I haven't gotten the shipping, uh, information yet. So I'm thinking I should get that either sometime today or early next week. And then it won't be another week or so before I actually get the book because it's usually once the book hits the U S at least in my experience, it's like a week, week and a half from, uh, getting from New York to here in Texas. Um, and I'm also, and I also have like four uh, pre-orders at various points in this month. Um, also, it's my birthday month, so I should be getting uh, gift cards so I can buy some more books. And I might do another Powell's order because there's a sale on. So we shall see how many books, uh, how many books I get in November. But until then, let's do the pile. So yeah, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Um, other thoughts? So, so far all of the books I know for sure that I've ordered in um, for November or pre-ordered are history books. I'm kind of leaning towards wanting to uh, pick up some more fiction, uh, some fantasy. Um, I, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what I'll be doing regarding that. 
Um, obviously, if you manage to catch glimpses over here where I have my new books, or wait until end of November when I do my November book haul to see exactly whether I go all history again, or I mix it up with some history, uh, some fiction, maybe some poetry, who knows. So until later today when I do my um, weekly reads, which I might do here in a few minutes instead of waiting until um, after supper because um, I do want to read a good chunk of um, um, the Napoleonic Wars today. And also Big Brother has a special coming on um, later on tonight and I'll be watching that. So I might go ahead and do um, my weekly reads after I finish this video. So until then, BookTube, thank you and have a great day and afternoon. Okay. Hopefully that was enough to get a tag. I mean, not a tag, a thumbnail. Okay, anyway.